We're at the mayor's night out at the Davis Street School here in New Haven. As you can see, a lot of folks came out tonight. They have questions for city leaders, including questions about the resurgence of violence here. The mayor's night out brings department heads to you in an informal and intimate setting so residents can ask them anything and everything. Jermaine Adams came here with the two recent homicides on his mind. I did come down to hear him talk about different remedies and different things that he was going to address. Adams lives near the scene of the first homicide of the year. Saturday morning, a man was found shot to death in an SUV on County Street. Monday, shots were fired in a housing project near West Rock Park. Then Tuesday night, about 11 o'clock, more gunshots on Mountain Road and another young man killed. The victim has not been identified yet. We're told he is an African-American man in his late teens or early 20s. But after a year that saw 34 homicides, 2012 had started off peacefully. But this last week has brought it all back. I'm concerned about the violence in our neighborhood. I'm concerned about the community policing. Some say it's the temperature. Warmer weather does tend to bring higher crime. And folks here want to know how city leaders plan to make this year quieter than last year. It's got to end. And I'd like to hear what he has to say on that subject, on what he intends to do to try and curb youth violence. Patty McGill also wants some answers about the violence, but her main concern coming here is higher taxes. So there are quite a few issues being discussed here and hopefully some answers as well, because if this week is any indication, New Haven could be in for a rough time. Well, I think it's going to continue to get worse unless we get to the root of the problem, which consists of a lot of things. The mayor's night out happens every couple of months at different spots around the city. Police are still investigating the two homicides. On the scene of New Haven, Annie Rourke, News 8.